Hey pals, I'm back for a, another vlog here. Um, I have laundry back there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm back with another vlog. And the Yankee List sent over a number of scalp and hair products late last year, probably very early fall. And uh, I am very late into drying these, so I'm so sorry, Yankee List. This is the salicylic acid exfoliating scalp treatment for oil and flake control perfect for oily itchy and flaky scalps i am pretty much just oily i'm not itchy or flaky i am if you can tell just really oily scalp today the last time i washed my hair was wednesday and it is saturday so let's open her up this is what the unit looks like it does have a chemically scent to it It's a little bit milky, almost. Um, best results here, it tells us to recommend shaking the bottle before use. Give myself a whole new hairdo. Use as a pre-shampoo treatment. Shake into the palm of your hand, massage hands together, and use your fingertips to rub into scalp. Apply enough to cover entire scalp. You want for 10 minutes and then wash hair as normal. You can use this one to two times per week. And for best results, it's best used as a pre-wash or you can boost your shampoo and conditioner. Okay, so I think I've covered the vast majority of my scalp. I'm feeling a little, little bit of activity, but not, nothing too overwhelming. Um, nothing like the Drunk Elephant TLC scrub. So I'm gonna let this sit over the skin for about, or the scalp for about 10 minutes. And then I'll show you all my results once I am fresh out of the shower. Welcome back to the vlog. I am doing a lot of things today, but I wanted to share my experience today with the Bondi Sands Everyday Skincare. I've been dying to try this clay mask, but I didn't want to do it without you guys with me along for the ride. Um, so first of all, love, love the tube. I love clay masks in a tube and that prevents the product from drying out too fast. I'm gonna use this with a mask, I'm sorry, with a brush here. Um, and yeah, 
I have cleansed my skin with the Drunk Elephant Best Jelly Cleanser as I have emptied out my Kapari Tropical Glow Facial. So now I'm just going to use the Kapari Coconut Rose Toner, which I have been slowly uh, incorporating into my routine. I'm gonna let this dry. So we're gonna follow this with the moisturizer and the serum that they sent over. So here is some of that texture. And then I'll start here in the chin because I just cannot with my chin recently. I had a pretty gnarly hormonal workout here. I have so many headbands and fail to use them all the time. So this has a number of really good ingredients and a few best ingredients and one average ingredient, which is benzyl alcohol. This is uh, least sensitizing and may provide uh, some collagen synthesis or may promote some collagen synthesis. It is not bad or terrible for the skin in concentrations of 5% or more. This is mostly an anti-aging, hydrating, soothing mask that helps to control oil, minimize pores, and promote an even tone. It has got some antioxidants in here. These are the claims here. Detoxifies skin for a clearer complexion, enriched with blue spirulina, extract bentonite clay and matcha, Bondi Sands Bondi Babe, reduces redness and draws out impurities to leave you with firm and glowing skin. You want to apply an even layer of Bondi Sands Bondi Clay mask to clean dry skin and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Remove with warm water and a damp cloth. Okay, so I do feel it drying a little bit here along the chin where I first applied it. Um, overall, I really like the texture. Works really nicely over the skin. I'm not feeling a tingling or burning sensation at all. So I'm going to set a timer for about 15 minutes and then I'll come back and show you all the results. So I just removed the mask, clearly, um, and I like it. As with all clay masks, it can be a little bit hard to remove because clay, so it really dried onto my skin. I could barely even talk. Um, and kaolin clay, which is one of the ingredients within this particular mask, does have a skin kind of softening effect. So I don't normally clay mask my entire face, but I felt inclined to do it today, seeing as it was the first time, so I want to, want to kind of test out just how much it absorbs the oils here where I don't have a ton. The vast majority of my oils happen here along the T-zone. Um, I feel like it did help to minimize some redness and my skin just kind of feels really nice and refreshed. I am not going to tone. I'm going to just kind of see how the skin feels for a wee bit. I'm going to continue to like work, do some scripting here, prep for some videos that I am working on for you all. And um, I'll check back in with you when it's time to do my, my routine. So I'm um, loving how my forehead is looking. I do just have, you know, some blemishes that I'm kind of working through. Um, but overall, this is what the skin looks like with no toner. And after just having used the Bondi Sands Everyday Skincare Bondi Babe Purifying Clay Mask. Love to know if you guys love clay masks or not. Let me know in the comments down below. So I will check back in with you in a bit. Okay, so I actually had a little lunch and I have not applied toner to the skin at all. Um, and skin feels balanced. It doesn't feel excessively dry or tight post purifying clay mask. 
I do feel like this is just coming to a head a lot faster and this is already ready to be extracted, but we're not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna tone with the Kapari Coconut Rose Toner to bring back some balance to the skin. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Bondi Sands Everyday Skin Care Fountain of Youth the Cuchil serum, but I like the little packaging here. Very cute. Um, this is not my favorite kind of packaging for a serum, I will say that. But again, this is affordable skincare, and I feel like it's very kind of marketed towards more youthful group. Maybe uh, those who are just starting their skincare routine, but whoa, can we have a look at my forehead? clay mask so let's take a peek at this texture here okay so it's kind of creamy for a serum so it's a creamy serum this is going to resurface the skin and help fight against the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles this is enriched with bakuchil sunflower seed and rosella extract to hydrate feed pigmentation and soften the skin you want to apply two drops of Bondi Sands Fountain of Youth Bakuchio Serum to clean dry skin. Once absorbed, follow with other serums or oils and finish with moisturizer. For me, oils come last. Do a little lip here. <laughs> Then we're gonna go in with the Daydream Hydrating Whipped Moisturizer with a Desert Lime Extract. Little message for you, have a good skin day. Um, I like the tube for both of these, but it's this, I mean, just for it being a milky serum, it's nice. I'm curious to see if their other serums are milk like milky kind of like this um so for the milky serum i like it but if it's if it's watery i may have a bit of an issue with it i did order a few other things so those should be coming sometime this week or next i'll be sure to share my thoughts and see what i picked up this is a moisturizer here pea-sized amount i think maybe this much loving my forehead right now this instantly absorbs onto skin and provides up to 72 hours of hydration this is enriched with sunflower seed oil desert lime extract and rosehip oil to leave you with hydrated nourished and rejuvenated skin you'll want to massage a pea-sized amount of bondi sands daydream whipped moisturizer onto face and neck for best results, you want to apply in the morning after your serum. It's a little bit of a kind of soothing effect on the neck, not so much around my face. That's what we're looking at, or looking like right now. Everything looks to be working well with each other. Serum, toner, moisturizer, sunscreen. No pilling at all. And my brow lamy is still looking very well. Um, I have been going in with glycolic acid nightly. Um, and it's still, you know, going strong. Um, this is what the skin looks like today. It's really nice and comfy. Um, so stay tuned for maybe an update on the Bondi Sands skincare uh, range. I think maybe I'll do an update during a favorites video. Or if you'd like to see an in-depth review on the range or a specific product that I have shown today, let me know. I can do that as well. 
Um, but otherwise, I think I'm going to wrap up today's vlog here before it turns into another 25 minute uh, shindig over here. So I hope you guys are having a really good week and uh, I will see you in my next one.